What's up beautiful people? It's your girl Janaya Leah and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as y'all can see by the thumbnail and the title today, we are doing a half up half down style with some clip-ins. So as y'all can see, I literally just cut my hair. So this blend, we gonna see what we can do. But y'all see my hair is already in a half up half down. And so we're just gonna go in and add some length. And the clip-ins that I'm using, I'm using about one and a half bundles from She Slays First Hair. And this is the 18 inch. I'll link all the details about this hair in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get into it. What's up beautiful people? So let's go ahead and get into this install. So as y'all can see, starting off, I already put my hair in sort of like a half up, half down. Obviously the part is not perfect, but basically just kind of segmenting off the part that I want to be the ponytail and then the part that I want to be the half down. So for my half down part, I'm doing a low ponytail. One, cause I just cut my hair and a blunt cut is really, really hard to braid. And this was intended to be a quick and easy, simple style to do. So that's why I just did a super low ponytail. And as y'all can see, as I'm putting the hair on, the hump literally just disappears. As you add more and more hair, my ponytail is not enough to actually leave a lasting mark in this style, which is why I wasn't really worried or pressed about, you know, putting the clip-ins on there super careful or whatever. But when I'm going through and putting on the clip-ins for the bottom half of my hair, I like to start off with one of the two-piece clip-ins, which is literally just the clip in with two clips on it and I put that right over my ponytail just so I know I do have some sort of coverage right over my ponytail then I just gradually kind of increase the length as I get higher and higher up my head because you know towards the middle of your head and around your ears is where your head is somewhat like the widest and whatnot so I kind of just work it that way now one important thing that I will say depending on how many clip-ins you do have is as you're going up it would help to make sure whatever clip you're using is going from one end to the other end so in the back that's why i use a smaller one and that's why it's important to kind of increase the length as you move up so that way you get that full coverage now the coverage that i was aiming for for this clip in install was more of like a quick weave type coverage due to the fact that i am not leaving out any leave out with this style because as i said i just did a blunt cut on my hair and it just would not blend good at all so i'm not doing any leave out but what i'm doing instead is i'm just stacking each clip in basically horizontally on top of one another so that way the clip in above one clip in covers the clip in under it and i'm just basically going to do that until i get all the way to the top of my head or yeah the top half of my head to the, where the ponytail is going to be and so i'm going to do that till i get there and then from there the ponytail is literally just going to cover any leftover tracks or anything So now that we're done doing the back, it's time to go ahead and get into the ponytail. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but for this style, I'm only using about one and a half, maybe two packs of clip-ins. I know for sure I have two packs, but I don't think I used the entire pack. So going into the ponytail part, this is kind of like my favorite, but it's also the most tricky. So when you're doing the ponytail, your objective is to kind of get it as flat as possible, but also get it as full as you can, or at least in my case, as full as you can to kind of make up for the missing length that, you know, your natural hair does not have. 
And so how I'm doing that is I'm literally just parting from back to front. And I'm parting from back to front because when you're putting the clip-ins on as a ponytail, you have to start kind of at the back. Or basically you have to start at the root of the ponytail because if not, if you just start from the front of your head, it'll be too much trying to lift the ponytail and put another clip in under it like it just really won't work out well and you'll end up clipping a whole bunch of hair and all kinds of stuff so that's why i'm kind of working this way and what i'm doing is i'm putting a clip in and as y'all can see literally just work it out however it fits just do what feels right to you so what i'm doing is i'm putting one clip in kind of parting it off like in a sort of like half moon type shape clipping that piece in then i'm going just a little bit over that clip in parting out another section of natural hair laying that over the clip in and then add another and adding another clip in and as you can see i'm kind of doing exactly what i did in the back in the front so as i start off i start off with maybe like a two-piece clip in then i move up to like a four I probably did like one of the fives and then in the front I kind of ran out of like the longer clippings so I just kind of added what I could I added maybe like a one and a one or a two like in a two basically whatever works best for you and whatever looks the best I know for me I also needed to fill in kind of some by my ears on the side so I did add two one piece clippings on the side so just for like some extra coverage and you'll see once you're applying your clip-ins and trying to see what fits and what doesn't and how your ponytail looks you'll kind of know from there if you want to add in more hair or if you may just need to remove some because nobody loves a heavy ponytail but anyways i'm just going to go through and finish this ponytail and i'll see y'all in a few
And last but not le last but not least, here I'm just cleaning up my hair with some um, just like hairspray or whatever. I'm spraying that on my flyaways and I also sprayed it just on like my ponytail in general. I sprayed it on my actual ponytail because this is how I'm gonna blend my blunt cut or just my short hairs in with my long hairs. And as y'all can see, the short hair is slowly but surely disappearing y'all. So I highly recommend hairspray if you're having a hard time blending your short ponytail in with your long ponytail because it definitely works. Okay, y'all, here is the final look, and I really like this. I really like this, especially considering the fact that I literally just cut my hair and it absolutely blends immaculate. Now, if you didn't notice in the install, I did kind of opt to not do any leave out in the back because I did just cut my hair and it's a blunt cut and it wouldn't blend right at all. But as you can see, like the other clip ins are doing a great job, like covering it. So you really can't even see that I don't have any leave out in the back. Nonetheless, I will link all the details about this hair and everything in the description box down below. You already know, click smash, smack that subscribe button down below and I will see y'all on my next video.